Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jacqueline Cabrera and for today's video, I'm going to be filming my college makeup collection. I asked you guys in my room tour video if you guys would be interested in seeing this and a lot of people commented yes, so that is what I'm going to be filming for you guys. And before we get started, I do want to mention that this makeup collection is very small, but it is the perfect amount for me. Um, I always find myself using all of the products I have and I don't want anything to go to waste. So I usually always use up all my products before I replace them. But yeah, um, with that said, let's just get started with this video. Okay guys, so this is my makeup collection um, setup. This is what I have going on. This is on one side of my desk and then on the other I have school related things. So starting off, I have this mirror that I got from TJ Maxx and I use this to do my makeup. And then next to that, I do have some of my, well, all of my palettes. But I have this uh, Wet n Wild Duo Contouring Palette on the side too because it's pretty big and doesn't fit in these little drawers. So I just have this out here. Okay guys, so my first palette is my Modern Renaissance and you guys know this is my holy grail. I think I filmed like every makeup like look I've ever done with this palette. Love the color selection this palette has. Um... I love these warm tones and these pinks. The orange is one of my favorites. And then it also comes with a brush that I use this brush too. So I have that in there. But yeah, I have this palette. And then I have this Tartlet and Bloom palette by Tarte. And I love the neutral colors in it. And I also like the mirror in this. I always reach out for this palette because of the mirror. And then the last thing I have is not eyeshadow related. But it is my Glow Kit by Anastasia. And this palette was actually gifted to me by a friend. I always find myself like dipping in multiple shades and then putting it on. But yeah. And these are all of the palettes I own. Um, sometimes I do use my sister's palettes or makeup products because she does have a way bigger collection than I do. So moving on to my actual acrylic organizer. I got this organizer from TJ Maxx. Starting off on the top, I have my Milani foundation. And this is the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 in the color Sand Beige. And I love this foundation. It does the job. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. And it's really affordable. And it's drugstore too. So so I have that there. Next to that, I have my MAC Fix Plus. And I love this stuff. This stuff literally melts the foundation and powder and everything into your face. It makes it look so dewy and pretty. I'm always going to repurchase this. Always. I love this. I have this Maybelline um, Fit Me Loose Powder and I'm not really a big fan of this but I do really want to use it up before like throwing it out. And then next to that I have this Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I haven't gotten around to trying it out. I'm so excited to use this like with the full face of makeup and then just see it like melt and come off. Like, I'm excited for that. So I have that there, and this is the, like, the small size, the travel size, I think. And it was only $10 at Ulta compared to, like, the $30 I would have paid for the full size. And I also wanted to try it out before I bought the full size. And then I also have this mini Real Techniques brush. It's, like, rose gold color, and I got this at TJ Maxx, and I use it for my blush. Behind all this, I do have this mason jar that holds all of my brushes, well, majority of my brushes, but these are the ones that I use the most, so I have these out here. But I recently got some new makeup brushes. I got some Real Techniques brushes for Christmas. I absolutely love the color scheme. These are so pretty. And then I also have these like original like colored orange ones um, i haven't used some of these because i don't know what to use them for exactly even though they do say what they're for and i also have my eyelash curler and this is by the brand mary Kay. so i have all of those goodies in there and that completes the top portion of my acrylic organizer now we're going to move on to the first drawer and in here i have foundation concealers um, eyebrow stuff and eyeliners so we're just going to briefly go through these so starting off I do have this fit me matte and poreless 
foundation that I'm trying to use up. I have four concealers at the moment. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade 25 and the color medium. I do have the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the new Fenty Concealer. I just recently purchased it and yeah, um, I've used it a couple of times but and so far I really do like this. This is in the shade 290 for reference if anyone's interested in knowing. So yeah, and it's so aesthetically pleasing as well. And the last concealer I have is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And it's also very inexpensive and you can find it at Ulta. And this is in the shade C10. Moving on to the things I have left in here. I have my Anastasia um, Pomade Powder. And this is in the shade Ebony. I This is my second one. My last one was gross. So I'm glad I got a new one over the break. Um, and it looks like this. Oh, And it looks like this. This is what I use for my eyebrows whenever I'm doing like a whole glam look. So I also have this um, pressed powder by Mary Kay. This is my favorite powder. I always use it up all the way till I hit pan. This is probably like my fifth one. I have some more eyebrow products. I have this um, Essence Make Me Brow. And this is in the darkest shade they have. I have this Mary Kay eyebrow gel that I also really like from them. Then on the back side, I do have some tweezers by Tweezerman in this rose gold color. I also have another um, setting eyebrow gel kind of thing by Pixie. I have this Marc Jacobs black eyeliner i have um, this nyx white eyeliner that i use during the summer i have this little random ulta beauty brow pencil and then the last thing i have in here is this wet and wild felt tip eyeliner and so that is everything for my first little drawer for my second drawer i have this Burt's bees blush and this is in the shade um shy pink 120 and i bought this at walmart i think walmart was the only place at the time that would sell this i don't know if they're still the only place but i really like this and it's really pretty it's this really pretty like pink shade i feel like all my blushes are the same color but they're still different brands and they apply differently so there is a difference in that but they're i feel like they're mostly the same shade but i really like these blushes so and they're only the only three I own, so I have this one. And then I also have this Milani blush, and I think this is in the color Romantic Rose. I have this Tarte blush, and I got this for Christmas. This is in the color First Class, and this is definitely a little bit more intense than the other two. Next, I have this highlighter by Wet n Wild, and this is in the color... Precious Petals, so inexpensive, and it's so good as well. Next, I have a mini Fenty Beauty um, highlighter, and this is in the shade Hustle Baby. And as you guys can see, I've gone pretty much ham on this pan, so I'm pretty much going to have to restock pretty soon, maybe in a few months. But yeah, I love this. It's so cute and it's so tiny. Like, I'm obsessed. I also have this Tardiest um, Tarte um, highlighter. And then the next thing I have is this e.l.f. color correcting palette. I think I'm going to give this to my sister because, as you guys can see, I don't even use it. So I think she'll have better use for this than I do. I just, I don't know why I bought this, honestly. <laughs> and the last thing I have in here is this Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer and i got this at tj maxx for like four dollars guys and i was so impressed i have that in my second drawer and then for the last drawer i do have all of my lip and mascara products in here in this side i have all of my mascaras and i have this um Tarte mascara i have this it cosmetics superhero mascara this is really good i think i'm going to like repurchase this i got this as a sample at ulta and i really like the wand on this and i like how it makes my lashes really full so i have that next i have this pixie lore lash um mascara and then under that i do have my favorite um 
mascaras and these are all by l'oreal l'oreal has the most amazing mascaras ever my favorite one is the telescopic one i always find myself repurchasing this one it's my favorite it lengthens my lashes to the heavens i love it and then i also have the voluminous lash paradise like it says it will it's like adds volume to my lashes and so does this one this is the voluminous um carbon black they're so good so if you're ever in need of a new mascara i definitely recommend trying out one of these three i love them they're my holy grails and i totally recommend them so moving on to lip products that's like the last thing i have to show you guys next i have my mini fenty um lip gloss this stuff is bomb guys once you go fenty you never go back i feel like this stuff is so good and i think this is in the shade fenty glow it's like their first shade i love this and i'm almost out of this so i already bought my next one and i decided to buy the full size one since i loved the miniature one definitely recommend this lip gloss love it and next to that i have these anastasia trio um, matte lipsticks and i usually always use this one next i have this um mac um, lipstick and this lipstick is in the color teddy i really love this color it's so pretty and yeah um and this is in a mini size as well i'm pretty sure i ordered this from ulta so i have that mini lipstick i have this mark jacobs lipstick as well like it's this really pretty pink color i promise i have used it even though it looks brand new and then for the two last items i have in here I have this color girl like matte lipstick and this is in the shade 340 and then i also have this milani lip liner in the shade 4 so it's this really pretty like pink color and it pretty much matches with all the lipstick colors that i have those are all of the items i have in my final um drawer so that's everything for my acrylic organizer and then next to that i have some beauty sponges and these are both by real techniques this is the face one and this is like face and body but i still use it for my face because it's so big and nice and fluffy but obviously this is the original one so i have two of those and behind that i do have this clear jar with some q-tips inside just to clean up any mistakes that i might make with my makeup hey guys so that is the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below any video requests you guys might have and i hope to see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>